Yep, howdy everybody. Um, I decided to make a quick video here at Balin's and Oats. You can see we got corn, oats, corn, oats, corn, oats, and corn, oats. Um, all the way across this field. It's, uh, I'm thinking it's uh, 80 acres, I think, over here or something like that. No, it's bigger than that. There's six, it must be 120 acres. It must be about 60 acres of corn and 60 acres of oats over here. Um, I guess as you can see, we, we're getting a few bales. It's not as good as it could be, but I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot better. Um, you can see the disc mower done a good job. I cut this on la on Sunday, and today is Saturday, so it laid near about a week. I probably could have bailed it yesterday, but we just had some other things going on. I was trying to spray and, and get crops in the ground, some millet in the ground yet, and things like that. So <coughs> I didn't uh, get it done yesterday, but it wasn't supposed to rain, so I wasn't terribly worried about it. Just gave it an extra day to dry. It, it's really dry. Actually, I'd like to. I'd like it to have a little bit more moisture if I'm going to be selling it, but since I'm just going to be feeding this myself, I guess it. Uh, I guess it'll work. Um, but a little drill or a little tractor still on the drill. Uh, I'm going to unhook the, that from the drill tonight. Hook on the mower. I got some grass hay to cut. Um, hopefully start doing that tomorrow and uh, continue on with hand cut hay for a day or two and then uh, hook uh, the drills back on mine and the one that I'm renting and uh, go ahead and get a bunch of acres drilled in a like Monday Tuesday or Tuesday Wednesday and hopefully be bailing this sometime on or not this, but bale the hay if the weather cooperates around the middle of the week. Um, we'll just have to see how it dries. But got one one little bale that that wrap screwed up on. I've only had that happen twice today, so um, I don't know if I don't quite have that side quite loose enough or not. Um, it's always. Uh, right hand side that does it I haven't really investigated I bailed uh, this field I bailed 117 bales on this field and uh, the last field I bailed 49 so if someone who's good in math can do that or grab their calculator that's how many bales I've done only, only two's been messed up so I'm pretty happy with that can't hardly ask for anything better Seen somebody bailing the other day that they just left a flipping disaster. About every third bale was broke or net wrap was terribly tore. I don't know how they'd ever pick them up, but this is not my problem. Um, you might see a few of these streaks in this field. I needed to change my knives on this field and I just never got to it. So um, I actually changed them once I had the end rows done. I changed them. And uh, I changed them and it, it's cut a lot better after that, but I was trying to get too much life out of them. And I see a lot of people do that with disc mowers and they like to get more life out of their knives so they don't, uh, they don't change them when they should. And uh, they end up look, making it look like uh, you went out there with a weed whacker or something and tried to cut hay with it. But. Anyhow, you can see there's some grass is coming back. You know, some of the oats are starting to perk up a little bit. Just a few broad leaves out here. The, the plan is I'm going to spray this off in the next couple days, get the bale stacked right away. To my wife's uh, on the first field that I bailed today, stacking them right now. And I intend to get this planted. And this will be one of the fields, hopefully, that we're planting right away uh, once I get it sprayed. Uh, so yeah, anyhow, I guess that's kind of the plan, but still going at it. I guess we'll look and see how many bales we got on the baler. I forgot to look. Uh, it won't let me look when I'm wrapping, I guess. I'll have to wait till we kick the bale out. Hundred nineteen in this field and 
total of uh, 1025 on my baler that was new this spring. So we got 1,025 bales on it so far, which isn't a lot, but it's plenty for what all the other things I've got going on, I guess. Um, tractor's been running good on the baler. I actually really like this tractor on the baler. It rides like a caddy for the most part. Um, got front suspension and whatnot, so man, it, good tractor to bail with. It, it actually gets better fuel mileage in my, or burns less fuel per acre on this tractor than, than I did when I was bailing with my old Magnum, so I'm uh, leaning toward that must to be uh, something to do with the, the engine RPMs running so much lower on this tractor. I'm not using any horsepower, I guess. Very seldom are we actually pulling it, but I have pulled it, but it takes a pretty good hill. And, you know, just going the speed I'm going, I'm going about 11 mile an hour bailing here. So, um, I know people question me about my speed, how much that affects the weight. And I guess I haul, I done the same last year. That was a my, uh, oat strip and millet. And this was a corn strip. I just alternate them back and forth every year. And uh, my bales on this quarter, or actually there's two quarters here, they average 1,770 pounds a piece or so. They're shy of 1,800, so. Um, that's about perfect for my truck. I'm hauling 30 at a time, and that's, uh, that's about perfect. I'm just right at the legal limit there. Um, couple loads are over 1800 I don't like them quite that heavy I like them right right around 18 or just under is what I hope for so um, I don't know how these bales will compare but I imagine they're gonna be very similar but when I haul them off I guess I'll have to see you can see the corns looking not terrible not looking the best it was planted a little bit later but it's got fertilized I think it got fertilized last week again um, I hired the co local co-op and they, they spread dry on that cornfield and watch all my cornfields and then we're doing some wide drop, wide drop stuff on my dad's cornfield. That's where they got the little uh, thing on the sprayer that looks like an airplane and dribbles uh, fertilizer down the side of each row. Um, you guys can do a little research on that if you want to figure out more information. We're just going to see how that works on that on my dad's ground. And, Corn got too tall for my sprayer to do his. His is all tasseling actually, so um, I'm gonna see how that benefits us this year. Um, but anyhow, I guess I think you guys probably watched me bail enough, and uh, I'm still loving the bail. Still loving the baler. Once I kind of get caught up with everything, the first cutting, um, kind of get caught up. I'm gonna hopefully. Do a little review on this tractor, do a little uh, review on the baler. Um, I got some other stuff I gotta get done. I got some disc more blades I've tried and I've got my conclusion. I'm hopefully gonna make that video tomorrow when I'm changing them. Um, so anyhow, I got some lot of things to, to hopefully get filmed and done in the next uh, week or so. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and we'll uh, see you guys on the flip side. Thanks, bye.